Hello, on this video cocktails. I'm your host Pierre. Rare. Today we're making the Ghostbusters Cross the Streams cocktail. Today and tomorrow are gonna to be a special edition cocktail to commemorate the announcement of the new Ghostbusters three film, which I'm actually really excited to go see. It's coming out next year, but this time it's an all female cast. You may have a couple cameo appearances from the original. I don't know the full plot twist on it, but it's all female, including the girl from Mike, Mike and Molly. It's gonna be a little different. But this one's actually going to be the idea, one of the most iconic lines from the whole franchise. I'm telling you, don't cross the streams. But today, we're going to cross the streams. But we're going to use two energy. This could be our protons. You got the liquid ice blue, liquid ice red. So it's going to be two double hits of energy. A lot of flavor going into this cocktail. And this one, I believe, is like, it's been a while since the interview. But I've been sitting on these for a while, so I figured why not use them. But this one actually has more of a kind of a cherry fruit punch flavor. Just kind of tastes like cotton candy, the blue one, which surprisingly it does. And then we're also going to have a little bit of a hit of alcohol to it. You're going to have the ghost aspect because you're going to have the Jim Bean ghost. A little bit of sweetness and also some hit of the vodka. But the idea is we're going to cross the streams. That's basically what this is. But let's show you exactly how this is made. It's pretty, pretty simple cocktail. There's not a lot that goes into it. Let's show you how it's done. Alright, first thing I want to do is I want to take an ounce of all three of your alcohols. Take your vodka. Take your Jim Bean Ghost. And your triple sec. The whole reason why I'm using triple sec is for one, help knock down a little bit of that alcohol potency. Plus, it also gives a little bit of a citrus element to it, which should help complement the energy drink pretty well. There you go. Now we just want to give that a good stir. You want to stir it pretty well because that Jim Bean Ghost definitely has a kick and you want to get a good flavor balance here. Yeah, we're good. Take that straight into your highball. Take both cans, open them up, and cross the dreams. There you have it. The Ghostbusters Cross the Streams cocktail. It's kind of cool because it immediately goes from clear, and you see one side's red, one side's blue, to a very clean colored purple. See how it tastes. It's fruity. That's one thing I'd definitely say. Because you're getting a lot of the, the surprisingly cotton candy flavor from the blue. And you're definitely getting a little bit of that fruit punch from the red. So it kind of has that, that sweet flavor. It's not really medicinal, which is good about this energy drink compared to some other ones out there. You're definitely getting the Jim Bean Ghost throughout that cocktail. It's not overpowering, but it's prevalent. It's definitely unique. It's really good. I actually like this. You're taking two really good energy drinks and mix them together. Add a few other ingredients, a little bit of citrus almond to it. Some sweetness, some potency. 
and you got a real great, a real good cocktail that's very flavorful, you're guaranteed to love. It just looks pretty damn cool. Surprisingly, though, the Jim Beam Ghost, it's not a very strong, overpowering flavor. You can taste it. It's not hiding or nothing. You can definitely taste it. But it's kind of a mild, smoky oak flavor. It's not real pungent. But you are getting a lot of that flavor coming from that. You're taking basically half a glass and you're filling it with energy drink. But this is actually keep you awake, too. I can't tell much alcohol will definitely keep you awake. But it's very good. It's a very well balanced. You're definitely, that citrus is coming through. You are getting a lot of that citrus elements from the triple sec. The vodka just kind of, just there. It keeps a little more alcohol potency. But this is actually really good. I'm definitely looking forward to go seeing the new Ghostbusters movie when it comes out. I'm curious. Female Ghostbusters. And they're not really even all that hot to look at. They're just older women people comedians but yeah now they got some hot models to be the ghostbusters i guarantee a lot of people go see that one hmm. well i hope you enjoyed this cocktail let me know what you guys think below and if you're going to see the movie next year just let me know because i'm guaranteed i am as always likes on facebook contest spirit cocktail subscribe to our channel donate to our patreon submit your recipes below this has been a whole week, last week, the week before, nothing but our special cocktails to announce different things like the Fantastic Four and everything. Next week, maybe the same, might be different, but I'm definitely looking forward to seeing if you guys submit some cocktails because I'm looking forward to make them. But as always, drink responsibly.